This is, by all accounts, an age of austerity for this country, a jobs crisis, also a spending crisis in Washington. I wonder what specifically you would do to say to Americans, these are cuts I'm going to make in federal spending that will cause pain, that will require sacrifice. Let me say, let me say first of all, with respect to Governor Romney, you know, there are a lot of people who are tuning in this morning and I'm sure they're terribly confused after watching all of this political spin up here. I was criticized last night by Governor Romney for putting my country first. And I just want to remind the people here in New Hampshire and throughout the United States that I think <laughs> he criticized me while he was out raising money for serving my country in China. Yes, under a Democrat, like my two sons are doing in the United States Navy. They're not asking who, what political affiliation the president is. I want to be very clear with the people here in New Hampshire in this country. I will always put my country first, and I think that's important to All them. All right, well, why don't you get a response, Governor Romney, and then I'll come back to you on the austerity question. I, I think we serve our country first by standing for people who believe in conservative principles and doing everything in our power to promote an agenda that does not include President Obama's agenda. I think the decision to go and work for President Obama is one which you took. I don't, don't disrespect your decision to do that. I just think it's uh, most likely that the person who should represent our party running against President Obama is not someone who called him a remarkable leader and went to be his ambassador in China. This nation is divided, David, because of attitudes like that. The American people are tired of the partisan division. They have had enough. There is no trust left among the American people and in the institutions of power and among the American people and our elected officials. All right.